Recently, the United Auto Workers Union, or UAW, went on strike, and this could mean really big trouble for Tesla. Elon Musk was recently quoted saying that they want a 40% pay raise in a 32-hour work week, and this is a sure way to drive GM, Ford, and Chrysler bankrupt in the fast lane. This guy's got dad jokes. Yeah, Steve Harvey and his wife got into a fight. <laughs> it was a family feud. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Johnny. And the first thing I want to do is just shamelessly ask you to show some support. A like and subscribe would really mean the world to me. And if you're interested in real estate, real estate investing, or just like general market news, you'd likely find some benefit in hanging around this channel anyways. Now, at the end of this video, I have a couple questions for you, and I want you to stick around and throw your answers in the comments section down below. Recently, 19,000 UAW union members decided to strike against General Motors, Ford, and the parent company of Chrysler, Stellantis, did I say that right? I don't know. Here's the thing, the strike could have a pretty significant impact on the price of cars and trucks in the future. One article said that it can impact car prices by an increase of more than 10%. But the more immediate impact is on the repair parts, because a lot of these workers work at the factories that actually manufacture them. That means if you own a vehicle made by one of these manufacturers, and it breaks down, the car might be in the shop for three months instead of three days. Let me break down exactly what's going on here and how this strike could potentially create trouble for Tesla. First, exactly what is the UAW? This union was founded in 1935 for workers in auto factories. And if you don't know what a union is, it's basically a group of workers who band together and they use their strength to have a voice in the workplace. Through their union, these workers have the ability to negotiate from a position of strength with employers over wages and benefits and other health and work-related safety issues. Whenever there's a discrepancy on things like wages and benefits between the workers and the management of these companies, union negotiators step in They'll meet, and then they'll try to find a resolution for both parties. And sometimes, when that resolution can't be met, the union workers go on strike. When this happens, it's kind of like a game of chicken. Going left, right? Uh, right, right? Right like we're going right, or right like we're going left? Oh, well, now you got me all mixed up. I don't know. Make up your mind. And here's how it shakes out. When a union worker goes on strike, they're not eligible for pay. So the longer the strike goes on, the longer the worker goes without a paycheck. That sucks. On the other side of the coin, the longer the worker is not producing for the factory, the more money the factory loses. So generally speaking, it's in both parties' best interest to just resolve the conflict as quickly as possible. Now, there are several different ways that a union worker actually strikes. The first is a general strike, where basically everybody leaves and they don't come back until there's a deal worked out. There's also a strike called a slowdown strike, and this is where people actually sit at their desk and they just work really slow. So why is the UAW striking now? The auto workers say that their pay is stagnated, even as profits of the Detroit's car companies and the compensation of their executives have increased. The UAW is asking for a 40% general wage increase for its members over the period of four years. And they're doing that by pointing out the automaker's recent profits. And these three companies posted a profit of roughly 21 billion, and that's just the first half of this year. The other thing to note is that these demands are partially being driven by the success of other unions, including the success that UPS and American Airline unions have been getting in similar increases this year. Key drivers for this request has to do with inflation. In 2008, auto workers gave up their cost of living adjustment, or COLA, as part of their concessions to these automakers during the 2008 crisis. Basically, what this means is that as inflation goes up, their pay increases with it. Now, they're asking for that to be reinstated, and that seems totally reasonable to me. Ford, GM, and Stellantis, Stellantis are all negotiating with the UAW. And Tesla's not at the table, but they are the elephant in the room, and this is why. You see, Tesla has the electric vehicle market cornered, and part of the reason for that is just the, like the eccentric likability of Elon Musk. People love the guy, me included. But they also love his vehicles and the Tesla brand. So being likable and having a great product surely will drive business, but here's where Elon really wins. The average labor cost at Tesla is between $45 and $50 per hour. But the three Detroit automakers, their average cost is between $64 and $67 an hour. And that means it's more expensive for them to produce the EVs. In order for them to have a competitive price point in the marketplace, they have to work on thinner margins. This potential pay increase to the labor force will also have a significant impact on the automaker's ability to deliver vehicles at a competitive price point. 
Another advantage that Tesla has is that they're really efficient in the way they produce their vehicles. Instead of buying parts from other factories, well, they just buy the factory themselves. My credit good enough to buy you out? <laughs> Corleone family wants to buy you out. No, I buy you out, you don't buy me out. This helps them further reduce production costs, and it's made it very difficult for these other manufacturers to compete with them. So you might think that a strike is actually a great thing for Elon Musk and Tesla. But here's the problem. UAW has been trying to unionize Tesla's employees since 2018. And as they continue to negotiate better wages and pay for their members, unionizing will start to become more and more attractive for Tesla employees. And Elon Musk knows that. If the UAW were to unionize Tesla's workforce, increased labor costs would definitely have a significant impact on Tesla's financials. And this is why Elon is becoming so vocal about this strike, including his criticism for President Biden for supporting the UAW's proposed increases. The really interesting thing is that if the UAW does in fact get the increases they're asking for, and Elon Musk can hold off Tesla workforces from unionizing, you're gonna see Tesla just absolutely run away with the EV market. Now, these strikes always find a way to come to a happy ending for everybody, but I do have two questions for you. The first is, how do you think this plays out in the EV market going forward? The second is, what are your thoughts on unions? Go ahead and leave your comment and opinion in the comment section below. I respond to all of them. And a quick reminder, if you're somebody who has interest in real estate or real estate investing and financial markets, you might find some benefits in subscribing to my channel. Thanks guys for stopping by. God bless.